dear students in this video i am going to show how to determine the thickness of flexible payment and how to design it as in earlier video i have shown you the difference between flexible payment and rigid payment and i have also discussed about the types of payments and what is payment now we will solve the problem uh, it is in the uh, given data is uniformly distributed pressure as p is equal to 0.78 kg per centimeter square and 2.2 kg per centimeter square now radius of the circularly loaded area is equal to 37.5 cm elastic modulus is not given we have to find out diameter is given as 75 cm design wheel load is equal to 240000 uh, kg tire pressure as 16 kg per cm square take a variable deflection 0.125 cm which is given in the question by itself now first step we will determine the elastic modulus of the subgrade from a point a plate load test conducted on the subgrade we have the formula for finding the elastic modulus by using the formula deflection delta is equal to 1.18 pa by e2 from this we will get the value for e2 in kg per centimeter square now second step is determination of the elastic modulus of the base course or granular layer as we have find out for the sub grade now we will calculate for base course or granular layer from the results of the plate load test conducted on the base course as he has given in the question uh, here uh, by using the formula for deflection 1.18 pa e2 into fd here in this uh, granular uh, base course we have to take the second value as which he has given in the question okay this value we have to substitute here for finding out the e2 in base course or granular course after getting this we will find, uh, we will get the value for fd as 0.35 and ratio of h by e is equal to 15 cm by 37.5 which is equal to 4 here h is base course thickness and is the radius simply we will can, uh, we will uh, we can write h equal to 0.4a now we will calculate e1 value which is unknown to us from the charts i will show how to calculate here i got the value of fd as 0.3 and h by a ratio as 0.4 h by a ratio is 0.4 it will come around here somewhere before 0.5 0.4 and this is 0.4a h is equal to 0.4a here this value will come around here before 0.5a and fd fd i have 0.35 here i will see for 0.35 it will come around here so how to calculate put the scale like this draw a line with the pencil next put the scale in this format put the line by using the pencil see where these two points are joining at the curve take that value i am getting 500 so i will take 500 500 e1 by e2 has 500 e1 by e2 equal to 500 e1 equal to 500 into e2 e2 as i have calculated 27.612 i will get the value for e1 as so and so in terms of kg per centimeter square now next design of flexible pavement in that tire contact area on the pavement equal to pi a square where a is the radius of tire contact on pavement we have the formula pi a square equal to wheel load by tire pressure from which we can get the value of a in terms of centimeter next we note it we know that the deflection equation for flexible circular plate allowable deflection can be found out by the formula delta a is equal to 1.5 pa by e2 into fd as given in the question we have to find the value for deflection at 0.125 mm we will calculate fd now same as i have shown you uh, earlier also for base 
coarse coarse or granular how we have calculated same here we have to do fd equal to this much answer i am getting 0.065 and uh, read the figure from the figure uh, h by a equal to 2 i will show how we will get the value for e2 e1 value e2 we have e1 i have to calculate now fd we have 0.065 Zero point zero six five will come around here. Okay, and h by a I have to just take the scale like this. Join zero point zero six five at two. It will five hundred. So I will take five hundred. E one by e two I am getting five hundred. No. H equal sorry. I will show a figure. How uh, we will uh, get the thickness? See here. I have calculated E one and E two as thirteen eighty six zero kg per centimeter square, and E two as two seventy six point one two kg per centimeter square, and uh, we have the V load. As given in the question, as p equal to two four triple zero kgs. Now, we have to calculate the thickness h from this figure. Okay, so I am calculating from figure as h equal to two into a. We have the value of a as we have calculated here. Here I have calculated the value of a. Just substitute in h equal to two into a. Two into a. We will get the final thickness of. Flexible pavement. Therefore, for the base course, provide a thickness of that h value, forty-four uh, centimeters. Yes, I hope you understood it clearly, and you can uh, comment me in my comment box if you have any doubt. Thank you.